What's good everybody, this is the boy JC I'm back with another video for you guys It's been a while since I've done one with some Rams So I'm gonna get back into the groove of things So I got one for you I wanna show you This one is an Alloy Sodium Series X2 Lightning Gaming DDR4 High Performance Memory RAM I'll leave the link in the description So if you like you could pick it up after I'm finished with this video right here Or yeah, I think I said it right So I saw this and I said I gotta give it a try it was a reasonable price. I think it was for like 120, 130, something like that. But this one shows right lightning gaming. So I say, okay, I'm very intrigued. This one is comes with two 16 GBs of RAM. So, so the total is 32 total. And this one right here is um the third it comes it's a 3200 MHZ with CL18 1.2 voltage. So this will be pretty decent. So without further ado, let me open up the package and see what it looks like. I'm so excited because I haven't done a, one of these videos in a while. And you know me, I'm always looking for performance for my um, ASUS G15 Advanced Edition Gaming Laptop. So let's get this for the plastic. And I like the texture right here. As you can see, the, all, the, all the O's, all the O's right here on the box. This is, this is a nice touch and you can feel them. You got texture to them, so that's pretty cool. So I like how the, I like how Alloy do their stuff. All these O's to represent the brand. So simple, just gonna open it from the side because I don't like to rip things up when I'm unboxing. So put it to the side. This is a nice touch. They put this um nice foam around it. I think it's to protect it during shipping so you won't so you won't get damaged. Because sometimes during shipping you get banged around all over the place. So this should help protect it, which is very, which is a very cool touch by Alloy. And okay, so this is right here. I'm gonna open it. Okay. Nice and gentle. See, this is pretty cool. It comes with a sticker right here. But well, you know with both manufacturers, they said if you remove the sticker, you avoid the warranty. So let us get it out right here. You see what it says right here. Boom, simple, C18, which is pretty good. This, this, this thing should have some speed to it. With the, with the average uh, 1.2 voltage, that's not bad. I wish it was higher, but it is what it is. So yeah, this is the sticker right here. So this is the sticker. This doesn't come with a heat shield, unfortunately. So you got some, they got some uh, metal heat shields from people from Amazon. They're very cheap for like 10 bucks. But this doesn't come with a heat shield. It just come with a sticker right here. And as you already know, if you remove it, you avoid the warranty. So let me just go ahead right now and just put it inside the, the, the ASUS G15 Advantage Edition Gaming Laptop. And for those that haven't installed a RAM inside the laptop before, especially this one right here, the ASUS G15 Advantage Edition, it's a very simple process. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. First thing first, it comes with 11 screws. So you gotta remove all the 11 screws and then you just slightly prop it open and slide the back over, just like that. Second, you gotta disconnect the cable from the battery. So, all you gotta do is a little clip right here. You just push it up and just pull it out. And what they usually what they usually recommend that you drain the drain the drain the power out of the out of the computer. But what you would do, you would flip the PC over, hold on to the power button for 30 seconds to drain out the, the power out of the PC. Alright, so that's it. Now you're gonna install the RAM inside the asus g15 advanced edition laptop or if or it doesn't matter whatever laptop but for those who have this particular laptop this is how you do it just slide it in clip just like that and then another one boom it's just that simple but what you got to do after that don't forget you got to connect the battery back on because sometimes you'll be rushing and you forget so it's a simple process just place it down right here make sure that it clips in properly Slide it all the way down so it holds firmly in place. And that's it, you're done. Now it's time to pop this bad boy and see if it works. Now for the moment of truth. We have a new RAM inside the PC. I wanna see if this bad boy is gonna work. So let me just see the power button and see if it will boot up. And usually when I put a new RAM inside the PC, it takes a little while to boot up. But as long as it boots up and go to the main screen, I'm happy with it. So let's see what happens right now. Okay, we 
does off his does off his screen a little bit. Okay, that's a good sign. Let's see again. Ooh! Alright! One shot! It works off one shot! Alright, so far so good. So let me just get into some um let me check on the information on this RAM right now. So let's go. Alright, I'm back everybody. So I just want to say right off the jump. This RAM, I see some improvement. This thing is snappy. It's really, really snappy. But let me just get into it real quick so I can end this video. So first thing first, look at that. I just touched the, the armor equip button and that thing just snapped right immediately. This thing is crazy. As you can see right here on the screen, in the armor crate, it tells you my um tells you the the RAM right here, 31.4 GBs, and um it's running at 3200 MHC, so it's doing it's doing what it's supposed to do. That's pretty cool. Alright, let me get back out here real quick. And then I'm gonna go into task manager to show you right here in the corner that this bad boy is it is it, saying what it's saying right here. It's 32, 31.4, so you already know Windows takes a little, little something some for themselves. And so everything is registered as it's supposed to. When down here in the bottom of the screen, on the bottom of the screen, you can see it's giving an advertised speed according to Task Manager, 3200 MAZ with two slots using. Is in use, I should say. So that's it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, for the for the for the cream of the crop, I mean for the coup de gras. CPU Z. Now, with CPU Z, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I just want to say, when you're buying a RAM, sometimes the manufacturer don't give you what they say, and um, some of them say it will be like a C A the cat the, the C A S will be like 20, and sometimes it end up being 22. But so far, I just want to show you right now. I got the Ryzen 9 according to according to CPU Z. This is all of my information right here. And the core speed has been I've been doing this thing for a while and I like it so far. But let me just get into the memory part of it. So you can see right here, 30 32 GB gig, um, gigabytes and um, the on-core frequency 1596 bam bam bam. So you can see right here the CAS latency is 18, so it's really it's really what as advertised. 18 18 clocks that's so that's pretty cool now let's go to the speed part about it speed part for each um for each frequencies for the j for j deck is 1600 megahertz all across the board so the cast is 19 20 20 that's pretty cool i like that so it's not that bad but like i said i don't know what happened man but this thing like it breathed new life to my pc that thing is just snappy i love it so let me get out of here so I can't wait to um to fool around with it some more and see what kind of FPS I get with my games. So this is the boy JC. Thanks for tuning in to another um um video. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. I'm gonna see how it, how well it does compare to the same brand Rocket RAM. I want I'm gonna do a video to see which one gives me the most um FPSs and uh, which one is which one runs faster. So. Look out for that video in the next couple of days. Thanks you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.